matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai Pereira. And now introducing the champion, Fighting. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Michael. for the championship. To begin your instruction in the dressing room, protect yourself at all time. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Hey. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one was fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Big kick land. Huge kick to the leg. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. <laughs> Throwing that jab, no good. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. There's no give on that leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Battle for position here. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, he hurt badly, jab. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Got the single collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, single collar tie here. Points out for the end of round one. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Beautiful strike. Just out of range with that right hook. Michael Bisping retreating here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Lance switch. Big elbow. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to it. Wow. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael the Cat Bisping. Well, his
His future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is still getting it done on the big show. Congratulations to Michael Bisping, Jason Perillo, and the rest of the team. This was a turn-back-the-clock type of performance out of Michael Bisping here tonight. Certainly had to lean on his patented toughness at times, but you can't out-cardio Michael Bisping, and he was able to outlast the opposition yet again tonight.